We're here obviously with Dale Earnhardt Jr. He loves Talladega, Talladega loves him. Why the love fest you think here over the years? Just because we win. Uh, it's a fun place to race. Uh, love the draft and uh, the three, four wide action. Uh, the, the fans around here have always been great to my dad and always wanted to do well here because of their support of him and the Earnhardt family. And it's just been a, it's been a good friendship and it feels like home. Absolutely. Uh, talk a little bit, you've had the concussion obviously since June and it kind of struck you late. It was an odd thing to go through. Yeah, it was, uh, it was different than uh, anything I've experienced in the past. The symptoms came on weeks after the incident uh, so it was kind of a cumulative, a cumulative of uh, many, many wrecks that we've had this year. We just had a really rough year bouncing around and hitting a lot of stuff, uh, doing everything we try not to do every week. We just kept getting in accidents and uh, that stuff caught up with me. So, but I was uh, glad to go get checked out. I, I, I know what I'm doing is uh, the right thing to do, uh, to be in the car and, and continue to get more uh, incidents and more impacts would be very, very dangerous for me. And so, uh, you know, I think this has given me a great time to get well so we can prepare for next year. So there's, you learn terms like gaze stability. I'm sure there's some eye focus kind of stuff besides physical, right? Yeah, there was some balance issues, obviously, just simply uh, feeling like you could topple over any moment. Turning corners or standing up, sitting down, those kind of things make you very dizzy. There was a lot of nausea. Uh, but there was some eye stability, so uh, basically when I'd ride down the road, everything was shaking. So, so driving a car would be pretty much impossible, especially at the, at the professional level. Um, and, and that's gotten better, you know, that actually is all, um, feels like it's back to around 90, 95%. And, uh, you know, so I'm glad to see some progress, aside, yeah. you know, aside from the racing you know, take the racing out of it. I'm just glad that I'm getting better and uh, feel like um, having this much time to, to, to recover is going to give me a good chance of making a great year out of next season. Well, the record has nothing to do with being engaged. <laughs> no, it is giving me some more time to be involved in the planning process. I'm getting ready uh, to get married this off season. Really excited about that. Uh, finally, I know you hate not racing here so what can you provide obviously some expertise to alex yeah. the nuances of the track yeah i'm going to try to help alex as much as i can about what to expect in the draft and some of the tools that his car is going to provide him and some of the things he can do and look for when he's out there uh, to be competitive um, i'm also going to go up in the broadcast booth during the race and, and spend some time up there with those guys and go to the mrn radio booth as well uh, we're working, you know, we're still doing all our, our responsibilities outside the car. Earlier this morning, we were uh, um, reading to an elementary school. Yeah. Uh, we have an autograph session at the uh, Hall of Fame on Saturday. So uh, we're doing all the things outside of the car that we were traditionally doing. We're actually uh, tackling more because we have more time, but also because it's good exposure and helps my rehabilitation. That's good. Well. I hope you have fun anyway, even though you're not going to be behind the wheel. Yeah, I miss it. I do. But I'm certainly uh, glad just to be here. Uh, I was a fan of racing before I was a driver. I'll be a fan again one day. So <laughs> I like being here and seeing how the races go. The incomparable Dale Earnhardt Jr. Back to you guys. Thanks, man.